you talked about mission and culture, but values is a big part of that too. And as someone, an ex-campus logician, I don't know what you guys are calling yourselves now. I liked that though. Um, I know values played a big part, but how does, how have the campus logic values um, uh, informed your hiring process or your company culture, or even the way that you built products? Yeah, well, a couple things. I mean, values, values um, are, are always something interesting to talk about because if you ask a company what their values are, if people don't know what the values are, that's probably a signal. If they can't tell you how they've seen the values show up in decision-making, that's also a signal. So it's one thing to have values that are named. It's another thing to have them uh, be pervasive inside the company. So just a real quick on the origin story, um, in, in 2014 or so, it was right after Chris came, it, and our first product was starting to really work and take off finally. And uh, we were getting ready to launch our second product. It became clear to me, hey, we're gonna scale something here and, in, and we're gonna be hiring a lot of people in the coming years. And so we wanna make sure we find people that, that want to behave like we want to behave. And so that's what values are really, they're behaviors, right? You want, mm -hmm. it's, it's how you do the work. So purpose is why you do the work. Mission is where you're headed and values are how we're gonna behave along the way, right? And so um, when you think about values, uh, I ask our employees at the time, there were only about 20 of us, we have about 180 employees now, we had about 20 at the time, and uh, I ask everybody, uh, hey, give me one word to describe the best place you've ever worked or the best place you'd ever want to work, or you know, like it could be one or two words, but keep these in like super short phrases or words. And from those 20 people, I got about 150 responses and grouped them together in where things made sense. And out of that came seven you know, phrases. And some of the words were things like effort, work hard, ambition, you know, initiative, and you know, do our best. And out of that, I pulled those kind of words together. And out of that came the value, we work hard and give our best, you know, because we want to work with people that work hard. And and uh, show up and, and just give the best they have. No matter how, how good their best is, I, everybody needs to show up and give their best. Nobody needs, we don't want anybody to mail it in, right? Just show up and mail it in. And so that was, uh, that was another, one example. Another example was, um, you know, uh, people would say kindness, nice, like take care of each other, like, you know, just be kind. And so that's where the value, we're nice and we take care of each other came out, came out. So we ended up with these seven values and then, and that's one thing to come up with them. And it's another thing to make them fit into, uh, you know, into the, into the culture. So we've done something for years now, every couple of weeks we have a company meeting and in that company meeting, uh, we will do shout outs and I give the same instruction every time you can shout out. In fact, we're doing it now in, in, in the global pandemic here, we're doing it across zoom here. And uh, we, but we do the same thing. I'll say, hey, here's the, uh, give someone a shout out. If you can uh, tie it to some specific action they did and the impact it had and tie it to the values that you saw. And I'll put the values up on the screen and people start to describe the behavior that they saw in their coworkers using the values. Or they'll say, hey, we need to, do, we need to make this decision because one of our values is uh, you know, we keep commitments and do the right thing. We told this school we were going to do this. And so like we we're we're people who keep commitments and do the right thing. So we're going to do it. It's not convenient. It's not easy, but it's, we said we do it. We're going to do it. And that is just, uh, it, it sure makes a managing the company a lot easier when you're the leader, when you've got these sort of self governance that happens with really strong values and you have to make those values uh, persist and be meaningful uh, in the company. Yeah. I had a manager describe values to me as like, these are like the, the rules, the guidelines, like how you make decisions when I'm not around to tell you what to do or what decision to make and tying everything back to values. Like you, it helps guide that, that thinking and, Oh, I should make this decision this way because that ties more closely with our values versus like, it's the easier thing to do. I like that a lot. 
Yeah, you know, and it's always helpful. This is something I, I wish I would have done even more. We've done this a little bit after the fact, but whenever you can connect, uh, I'll, I'll, I call them core texts or like books to support the values. It also, because even, even short phrases, even though they're better than individual words, people still want to go deeper on what that means. So mm -hmm. one of the things I, uh, I, I, I think, uh, I'll use one example of the value I mentioned, we're nice and we take care of each other. I read the book Radical Candor a few years ago. And one of the things I really like about that book is, is the simple principle of care personally and challenge directly. And I think that um, what I always worry about with the value of we're nice and we take care of each other is, hey, uh, Sasha doesn't want to tell me that I've done something that's, that needs to be fixed because she's just being nice and she's not going to, she's not going to give me direct feedback. So, you know, whenever you have values, you as a leader, you're, that are strong in your culture, you're going to be spending a lot of time, and this is worth the investment, you're going to be spending a lot of time clarifying what those values mean and a set of core books uh, clarify that. I mean, part of being nice includes being very direct, you know, and not, not mean, but, but uh, kind and direct is what we really want uh, because directness is efficient and directness is uh, people can, people can receive directness if it's done kindly and they can take that feedback and they can improve and everybody wants to, to be better at their craft. So I do think you, you always have to think about having values, making sure they have meaning and they, uh, they persist for the long term. Yeah, I like that a core set of books. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think more about that. I think that's really cool. Yeah, it's good. Sorry. Well, and part, part of that is like, uh, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. There's, been, there's so much great management thinking out there. Right? There's, so much, there's so much great content out there. And if you read something that's been transformative for you as a leader, then, and, you, and, you, and it, and it uh, lines up really well to your outlook in life, you need to uh, you need to make sure everybody on your team reads that book, right? So that you create more unity around around some of those uh, principles. Yeah, I like that. 